after what happened against Young Boys on Tuesday night, Wednesday night, I can't remember what it was. I don't want to remember when it was. Maybe I just blanked it from my mind already. We need to bury it. Manchester United back in action on Sunday. This time, a trip to West Ham. And the London, is it the London Stadium now? Olympic? I don't know. A trip to face West Ham on Sunday. Away from home in the Premier League. We haven't lost in, what, 28 games? And after what happened against Young Boys on Tuesday night, Wednesday night, I can't remember what it was. I don't want to remember when it was. Maybe I just blanked it from my mind already. We need to bury it. We need to bury that game ASAP Rocky. It was a abysmal overall performance and abysmal result and Man United right now in the Premier League we're top of the Premier League let's get back to positivity let's get back to winning ways and hopefully back to a win against West Ham this is going to be my predicted 11 from the game following comments from Solskjaer in his pre-match press conference and let's dive straight into it of course De Gea is going to start Henderson got his first minutes under his belt playing for the under 23s against Arsenal he's still a while away from fitness and with De Gea in the form that he's in at the moment he's probably going to struggle to get back into this team De Gea really is looking good I think he'll probably be busy against West Ham West Ham are decent ladies and gentlemen under Moyes I thought it was a bit of a flash in the pan last year they're looking very good at the start of this year I expect them to do well again this is probably the toughest game that we've got this month I think anyway moving on to the defense it's it's set our defense is set now it, it's Shaw it's Wan-Bissaka as the fullbacks it's Maguire and it's Varane simple simples when they're all fit they're going to play now of course Wan-Bissaka in the spotlight a very reckless tackle from someone who is a very accomplished tackler I think that's what jarred people so much did the pitch contribute probably did did his first touch contribute Definitely did. Bit of everything went into it. A lunge from wan -Bissaka. It was definitely a red card in my opinion. I think it was the right decision. And wan -Bissaka, he will not do that again. I'd be surprised if you ever see him do that again in the United shirt. It was a really abysmal moment for him. But it doesn't mean he's going to get dropped for Diogo Dalot. Not in this game. I think Diogo Dalot might be playing some cup games. X, Y, Z. He's not going to play this game. It will be wan -Bissaka. Short out on the left. No questions asked. We need his overlapping runs in this game. Simple, man. I want that short to return. It's not as if he's been bad this season, but maybe hasn't been as good as he was last year so far anyway. And Maguire and Varane. When Varane came on against Young Boys, I genuinely lost count of the amount of times he cleared the ball in the first like 15, 20 minutes. He was there on the first, every, on the end of every single cross. He was superb and he was absolutely world class against Newcastle. I know that Ronaldo took the headlines rightly, scored two on his return to Old Trafford, but Rafael Varane was genuinely on a different level. And I'm cont I'm so excited to see how this partnership continues to grow and develop Maguire and Varane together. Easily the best centre-back partnership we've had in a long time. As I said, they're going to be busy. I think Antonio is banned for this game, which is good because he is West Ham's most impressive player. Maybe not the way best way to describe him, but he's a real threat. Obviously, they're still going to pose a threat. And this is the issue. And this is why we need our back five to be very solid. But again, like every single week with United now, the questions lie in midfield and the question marks lie up front. But before I do move on to that, I want to say a big thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring this video. Big thank you to the whole community, to for everybody for bringing the sponsors back. Come on. OneFootball, if you haven't already downloaded it, there is a link in the description. It's free to download. Genuinely, I've always used OneFootball, a fantastic set of guys who run the app out in Germany, a fantastic app. All your Man United news in one place, all the matches, all the transfer news, all the stuff from the season. Everything you could possibly need and stats in one place. As I said, it's free to download. Help United People's TV. Click the link in the description. Go and download it if you haven't already. Help One Football grow bigger and better. And thank you very much, as I said, one more time for One Football sponsoring this video. And you'll be seeing plenty of One Football over the next couple of months. But let's head back to the midfield and take a look at who should be starting there. Now, this is the crunch point for United. Donut FC, who's playing in midfield this week? It's almost like just a weekly sketch show that United are involved in. I want it to be Scott McTominay. I really, really want it to be Scott McTominay. And there is a chance that it could be. But I predict it's going to be Matic and Fred. I'll explain both positions. McTominay, when he's fit and ready, he's coming straight back into this United team. He has trained. He wasn't fit enough to go out for young boys. Will he be fit for this game? You can't rule it out, but it strikes me that Solskjaer is going to wait a little bit longer. He's going to err on the side of caution with Scott to make sure he's ready for October, where we absolutely need him fit when we play Leicester, Spurs and Liverpool. So I think he's going to play Matic. Matic obviously didn't start against uh, young boys during the week. Came on, right, came on a little bit towards the end, but... I think Matic will be fine to start this game. And I think that's probably why he was rested against Young Boys. Now, his partner. Should Donny van der Beek start here? That's clearly the question that a lot of you are going to ask. After, for me, what was a very impressive 45 minutes 
against young boys. I thought I thought Donny did a lot of the simple things very well. I don't think he tried anything over the top. And I think a lot of people felt like he might. I certainly did because when you're a fringe player and you don't have that many opportunities, I always feel they, they get excited and go, right, okay, I've really, really got to impress here. But Donny didn't get over... He didn't, he didn't overthink it, if you know what I mean. He was playing very simple, very smart balls. And for me, kept on midfield moving in that first half. I'd like to see him start here. But I think Fred, certainly Fred's second half performance against Young Boys, when he played as a single pivot and effectively did two midfield roles at once, that's why Solskjaer likes Fred. He really is a box-to-box midfield. And if you saw Solskjaer's pre-match press conference ahead of West Ham, he was asked by Karl Anker about what is his philosophy in midfield what what what's what is this double pivot that he he has and, and how does he want it to work and he effectively said look everyone's talking about number sixes number eights number tens but back in my day it was your Paul Scholes your Roy Keynes your Brian Robsons all-round midfielders who could play going forward and play defensively too and it's clearly what Solskjaer wants in his midfield He's, he doesn't want a pure out and out midfielder like Ndidi or maybe even Declan Rice but Declan Rice is a bit more box to box and that's why he likes Fred so much and for me that's why Fred's going to start this game as I said it'll be interesting when McTominay comes back for me it's got to be McTominay coming back in for Matic and it probably means that Fred's going to stay playing most games for United this season although judging by that performance against the young boys I think Donny does deserve a chance really really does but let's move on to attack and I think there will be a couple of changes here too. Maybe only one change. I'm going for Pobra on the left, Bruno in the middle and Greenwood on the right hand side. And obviously that means no place in the starting 11 for Jadon Sancho. I've said it to you before and I'll say it again. I want Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to pick his players on form. On form only, not by the name on the back of their shirt. That counts for Pogba, Bruno, Ronaldo, anybody. And for me, Jadon Sancho hasn't had the most electrifying starts to his United career and that's being polite he struggled and I don't think Sancho should start here I think it should be Pogba on the left and Greenwood arguably the man most in form alongside Ronaldo who of course is starting up front Greenwood on the right hand side I want to see him there instead of Jaden Sancho just for this game maybe not I'm not saying forever and of course we play West Ham in three days in the cup so maybe if, if Sancho's not starting here he'll start there but for me on form Pogba on the left definitely Seven assists in four games. He's leading the stats in terms of Man United ranking and like passes into the final third. Tackles and interceptions as well. Uh, chances created. Assists. Popper's the man in midfield right now, just as Bruno is. Playing Bruno through in the middle, it's an absolute given. Bruno will start pretty much every game this season. I do worry about him burning out. Let's see what goes on. But Solskjaer will have to rotate him in certain games, but it won't be for West Ham away. Not after the Young Boys game. Because Solskjaer will know that if you just win a game here, that will get a little bit buried and forgotten about, well, at least until the Villarreal game uh, in a few weeks' time. Losing two games in a row, that's bad. That's when you start momentum starts to build. Negative momentum starts to build. So I'm saying Pop on the left, Bruno in the middle, and Greenwood on the right. And of course, Cristiano Ronaldo is starting up front. He got two against Newcastle. He scored with quite literally, I think, his first touch in the box against Young Boys. Right positions, right time. He's the man. He's going to score 20-plus league goals this year. The first player since Van Persie to do so for Manchester United. It's an absolute given. And I wouldn't bet against him scoring again, this time away at West Ham. With Ronaldo up front, anything is possible. Until you take him off in the 72nd minute against Young Boys. But that would be my starting eleven to face West Ham. As I said, I think without Antonio, I might be wrong, but I don't think they do. West Ham is still a very good team, with or without Antonio. David Moyes has earned a lot of credit given how crappy he was at United and how much damage he did there, he's helped and turned this West Ham team into a proper team. Now, I remember going to West Ham, what was it, a, a couple of years ago, last year, when we got pumped there, we got beaten. Maybe it was under Mourinho, actually. I don't know, it was a bad experience. But United have to bury that young boys game. We really have to. Of course, midfield is, I don't think it's going to be where this game is won or lost, but United have to be better in midfield. I can't wait until McTominay comes back in. I think that's going to be crucial to our midfield setup this year. Wan-Bissaka, I don't think that he's going to get dropped for this game at all. He's going to be banned for the Villarreal game and that's it. wan is still the best tackler in the Premier League, but he really exposed himself there with a very immature I would say lunge against young boys but I'm going to Haye at the back with short and Wamba Saka as full backs I'm going Varane of course I'm going Varane Rolls Royce and Maguire at the back in midfield I've gone for Matic and Fred that's who I think will start as it says this is this is a predicted 11 sorry not my preferred 11 I always reiterate that Pobre on the left Bruno through the middle Greenwood on the right and Ronaldo up front that would be my predicted starting 11 to face West Ham what would yours be what do you disagree with should Van der Beek start should Solskjaer maybe chance Scott McTominay? 
What about Sancho? And what about Wan Bissaka? Maybe bring De Lott in if he's going to play in the Champions League. You let me know what you think in the comments below. But United are top of the Premier League right now. All the doom and gloom after Young Boys. Yeah, we lost against Young Boys, but we're top of the Premier League. Three points here, and we'll retain that position at top of the Premier League, depending on goal difference, of course. And one more time, I want to say a big thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description. Download the app. It helps United People's TV if you do so. And why not? It's free and it's a cracking app. But let me know your predicted 11 in the comments below.